Formatting the risk matrix is the most important step in setting up your risk register, especially for qualitative risk analysis and management, where the risk matrix is used to set up your probability and impact matrix, how risks are scored, prioritized, and reported in the system. By default, the risk matrix is 5 by 5, from low to high. We can see how it is defined in the category tables on the left. Each row or column is defined by a label and a percentage. The percentage allows you to create linear or nonlinear matrix in terms of how much range each row or column represents. For qualitative analysis, this can be ignored as it does not affect how risks are reported. However, for quantitative risks, for the risk matrix to accurately reflect risk scores, you may be required to modify the ranges so that they align with your probability and impact assessment guidelines. To modify a label, click in the cell and type in a descriptive label. For example, you can modify probability labels to read low, 1 in 100, medium, 1 in 20, etc. These labels can assist during the risk assessment. You can add additional identifiers, 1 or A. At the bottom, you can select how these labels appear in the system. For example, if you want to assess risks on a 1 to 5 scale for both probability and impact, select Add 1, 2, 3 for probability and impact labels, and then select the index of the label 1, 2, 3, 4 option. Once you have set up the risk matrix with the desired number of rows and columns, you can define a color scheme. By default, the risk register has three colors. You can modify this scheme by double-clicking on a cell. A color palette will appear and you can apply a selected color to the cell. We recommend that once you select a color, add it to the custom color palette so it can be reused on other cells. Once you have set up the risk matrix, you will have completed setting up the risk register.